If you remember back to when we began the New Testament in January, we began the book of Matthew by making a point to say the most important part of our faith is the object on which we place our faith. And we established that on day one in Matthew chapter one, that Jesus is that object of our faith. Now today we begin the book of Hebrews, and the book of Hebrews does many things well, and one of the things that it does extraordinarily well is put Jesus and direct us to the authority of Jesus the and, and, and prioritization of Jesus and the power of Jesus over and above and through all things. And I think you're going to enjoy the book of Hebrews. I know I have been, and you've got good things in store for you down this path. Welcome to This Day Devo. My name is Pastor Guy, and today we are beginning the book of Hebrews. And we'll be in the book of Hebrews for a little while. It's the longest book we've read in a while and the longest book we will read until we get to Revelation at the very end of our reading plan. Uh, Today we read chapters 1 and 2. So the book of Hebrews uh, is Uh, The first book that we're reading that is not written by the Apostle Paul in quite a while. We read 13 letters by the Apostle Paul. Hebrews is actually kind of up in the air. We actually, some people think that Paul wrote it, uh, but others have reasons uh, to doubt that he wrote it. One simply being he doesn't introduce himself. And others being the kind of the way he writes, the way that it's written compared to the way that he writes. So we don't really know who wrote the book of Hebrews, um, and and that's that's okay. It's for our purposes. That's not a big thing to get stuck on. Um, what we do know is that this letter written to the Hebrews, written to Jewish people, was um, well recognized and well circulated very 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 early in the Christian church, and this was written to. Uh, either to um, either to Hebrews who were now followers of Jesus or to Hebrews who were trying to find Jesus. And so there's a lot of things that you'll see in this book that are very much directed towards helping us uh, helping someone who understands the Old Testament see the New Testament. And so for us, like, this defense of Christianity to a Jewish community is also a treasure for us in modern Christianity because it helps us to see that there's this eternal and this very intimate, important bond between the Old Testament and the New Testament faith that we have in Christ. And so this should attract us and draw us. And it just gives you this beautiful, higher view of our Lord and Savior. And um, it's quite powerful. And so the Old Testament, the New Testament have to play together. And Hebrews is a book that helps us walk through that and understand all of that. And so um, as we kind of get started into Hebrews, one of the things that we see right out of the gates that jumped out to you is, and you're going to see this again and again and again, and that is going to be um, the splendor and the power and the beauty and the majesty of who Jesus is above all things right out of the gates Jesus Christ is God's son so you'll see powerful statements about the superiority of who Jesus is and for us we see that in this right he is superior over the angels because what is this what is what does it tell us at the very last line of chapter 1 verse 14 says Angels are only servants. They are spirits that are sent to care for people who will inherit salvation. And so this book is establishing Jesus as above the angels and establishing angels as a part of your life and a part of my life and 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 being part of through they're caring for us. They're watching over us and and Jesus is above them, and Jesus is is higher and more powerful than them because he is God himself incarnate in the flesh, lays his life down for us. He is, by God's grace, taking death for us. And so by this, he sets us free. And so what is this chapter really doing? It is defending 
and establishing that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that he is superior superior over all beings. And so it is so important. If I would pull anything out of this for us today, is simply that as you look to Jesus, don't get lost in things like elevating of angels, the uh, worship of angels, the allowing other things to kind of creep into the story and, and, and take an unnecessarily place where Jesus is meant to be. We are too, and you'll see this all throughout this book, by grace through faith alone in Jesus alone. We look to Jesus. He is the author and the perfecter of your faith. So we look to Jesus and we say, yeah, he's God. He's exactly God. He is God. He has an endless life and he's sitting on the sitting at the right hand of God, interceding and defending your faith. He gave all for you and he continues to stand in that place, to stand in that gap. And so let's be vigilant to make sure that Jesus remains on the throne of our life and that he is the object of our faith because he is the author and perfecter of that very faith. And so welcome to Hebrews. Uh, I think it's going to be a blast. Um, it's going to be kind of dense and powerful, but so important and absolutely worth reading. You could read the whole thing in about 45 minutes if you just wanted to knock it out quick and come along. So I hope you have a great day and um, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Down from heaven as the power of Christ. 